Oh hi, in this video I'm going to cover how you can easily and quickly create your own colour scheme to use in your app using Swift or Swift UI's Colour Literal. Colour Literal can be used anywhere where you're adding colour in your interface including text, backgrounds etc. We're going to see some of the tools Colour Literal gives you and if you don't have an eye for a colour scheme we'll look at a great free website that does all that for you including providing a colour palette like the one you can see here. So let's get started. So I've started with a new Swift UI project, which as you can see, has a basic white background and black text. I'm going to replace the text with five rectangles so we can display a color palette. So first of all, let's just remove the padding and the text. And let's just type in rectangle. Yep. Then close brackets. And then we're just going to go for dot fill and dot color. Now you may see to color these red, we could just do that. But on this occasion, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use something called color literal, which I've just mentioned earlier. So in there, instead of that, we're going to put a bracket. I'm going to put color literal. And I'm going to repeat that. So I'm going to put another rectangle in there. I'm going to close brackets, dot fill, dot color, open brackets, color, and I'm going to choose color literal. I'm just going to copy and paste those to save a bit of time. I'm just going to type in one more rectangle. And dot fill. And as we did before, color. Color literal. Okay, let's just make these red color for now. Um, so click into the, the square. I'm just going to create that red. Red. Red again, and the last one. Okay, let's just run that. Okay, so we've got our five rectangles. So, what we're going to do now is look a bit more in depth at color literal. So, I'll just click in to one of the squares on color literal. Right, okay, the first screen it brings you up, it gives current colour, but recently used colours, you've got some monochrome colours and you've got some colour palettes that you can pick from there. If you go into other, it brings up a colour wheel. So for example, you could use complementary colours there, so you could go for the red and the blue. You could go for triadic colours, which obviously if you put a triangle over, if you imagine a triangle shape over there, you could pick those three colors and those will complement each other. So there's all kinds of things you can do. You can change the tone and you can change the opacity, which is transparency. And what you can do, there's a picker there. So if you pick, use that picker, for example, just for example, if we we're gonna pick one of the colors in Swift UI, we could pick that blue there. Okay, and then if we want to keep that for future use, we can just drag one of the blocks and put those blocks in there. Okay, okay, so we've got the HSB sliders, we've got CMYK sliders, we've got the RGB sliders, we can add a hex color in there, so you can use the hex color code. You can change all these codes to match any code that you find on the internet for any of these colors. Grayscale slider black and white monochrome colors if we're moving one along we've got the apple colors there and if we go into this drop down box you'll see we've also got developer colors in there so this is quite interesting because all the system colors that you would use within xcode swift ui all these are listed for you so you can see the system blues there the system oranges there obviously you can apply any of those colors if we're just going to apply them to these boxes it's quite simple and you can see the rectangle box has changed. If we change it to yellow, the rectangle box changes also. 
and again we change it to red or purple and you can see that our collateral box changes also so if we move on to spectrum so we've got a spectrum where you can move this about a little bit like a color wheel but a different way of doing it so you can pick different colors from there you move along you can see that the top again the top box is changing as we move that and finally we've got pencils so you can pick any color you want from these pencils you know if you want to go for lime lemon banana all kinds of colors eggplant okay so now we're just going to apply some colors to our color literal boxes so i'll just click into the box and we'll apply i think in this one i'll apply the dark blue there in that one the first one we'll go back to the first one we'll apply the light blue i think that's already set to that red so we'll just go to that one we'll click, click orange and i'll click yellow in there so let's just have a look and see what we've got So, as you can see, there are many tools for developing a colour scheme using Colour Literal. But if you're looking for a professional palette of complementary colours and gradients, there are quite a few web tools that you can use for this job. I'm going to look at one called Cooler, and we're going to look at how to implement this in our programme. So here's the website Coolers. I have to say, I'm not affiliated or been asked to recommend the website. I just think it's a great tool. All we need to do to get things going is just hit the start the generator button and the website just brings up five random colors that all complement each other now if you don't like those colors you just press your space bar it brings up five more and you can carry on until you find some colors that you do like so let's just see it right okay so i want to keep that green and that red so all you need to do is you go down press the lock toggle lock lock that down and we'll lock that down and if you press the space bar it now keeps the two colors that you've selected but continues by carrying on pressing the space bar to generate other colors that complement those two colors so i'll just keep going okay i think we'll, we'll settle for those maybe not that last color Yeah, we'll settle for that. Okay, so what we need to do now is click on export, create a PDF, title, just put my color scheme and export that. So all that's done, it's created a PDF of our color scheme and palette, and we can then transpose those by putting them into our program. Okay, as you can see on the left hand side of the screen, I've opened up the PDF that Colors has generated. And as you can see, it's got my color scheme there. It's got some gradients there. It's got all kinds of information that you can use to build colors within your app. To use any of those colors, you simply just click into the square on the color fill. Go to your color picker. And we can just apply these colors. Let's just run that. Okay, there's our app completed. So I hope that was useful and thanks very much for watching.